Paul uh, advocated for celibacy but knew that not everybody could hack it. And so he says it is better to marry than it is to burn with sexual desire. However, marriage is not just a free-for-all. Uh, he says that within marriage that sex must be honorable and holy and not with the passion of desire like those dirty, dirty Gentiles. And words only... Why does scholar Dan McClellan teach Augustinian sex theology in a lecture where he's trying to correct all these misunderstandings that are in circulation about the Bible? And he furthers that, claiming that porneia is like this translation has it, sexual immorality. When this interpretation clearly is from Augustine and not from the Bible. Porneia in the Bible means selling out and not illicit sex. Uh, and you can prove that this is not in here. So this talks about selling yourself. You're supposed to control your body. It doesn't say body. It says the vessel. And the vessel, according to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, anyone cl cleanses himself of what is unfit he will be a vessel for honor sanctified useful to the master and prepared for every good work a large house contains not only vessels of gold and silver but also of wood and clay some indeed for honorable use but others for common use so your vessel is supposed to be set apart and holy for god which means your usefulness like your service for god yeah, how you present yourself for God's service. And that should not be in lustful passion like the Gentiles who do not know God. Um, is that what you see exactly in those church gatherings, that everybody's super emotional? The Bible calls it uh, psychic, yeah, soulish. They're soulish, driven by feelings, and not pneumatic, which would be spiritual, driven by spirit. And this is exactly what this passage is about. People are selling themselves to the system. Yeah, They're committing porneia, which is not sexual immorality, because they want to live like the Gentiles, their service for God in lustful passion. And you can, you can make the final proof that this is the case in the verse by citing verse 6, which says, No one should ever violate or exploit his brother in this regard. Nobody exploits his brother when he has passionate sex with his wife. Dan McClellan, you never respond to any comment that is meaningful. You never engage. You don't click, I like it. You don't say, I don't like it. You're just silent. You're just ghosting people like me when they have serious concerns about your supposed scholarship. That's kind of weird. And I have to say, Looks as if you're guilty of doing just what is written in here. <laughs> you seem to be living it out in lustful passion and not with a clear mind. And you're exploiting other people by what you're doing there. Because you just repeat, copycat, whatever you've been told at some university. You've never learned it yourself the hard way from God. And that is why you don't respond when a Christian like me comes to you and shows you that you are wrong.